Unajua hujui. Toxic is gonna grill me. Oh yeah. Moja mbili tatu, akili zangu tatu kama soli ya the hand grenade mm-hmm. that dude right there yeah, wow. well what's up people the OG in the house vinyl space podcast we are back uh, with I go by the name DJ Joe Flex. MC Toxic is my name. And I go by the name Sasha Ray, aka Tom Money. And I will get to the night. Mativa. Ava, 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 Ava. Ava. You know? Yeah, yeah man. So, you know, we're, we're having a really nice discussion right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're talking about, I mean, we're kind of going to veer a little bit from the club scene to the beef that's happening in yes. Uh, yes. Kenya and yes. Tanzania. Yes. yes. What's, what's going on? Uh, I felt like um, the culture of hip hop is about beefing, right? Yeah. That's what makes people creative. Mm-hmm. That's right. what makes people, you know, who is a better rapper, yeah. who can get creative, who can, you know, right, who right. can return, you know, after one person misses the other. Mm. So, big up to Calligraph Jones. Yo. We, we needed that. Oh, I feel like it's been over 15 years since when we had such exactly. kind of an era. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, right now, Calligraph. <laughs> Uh, we've seen like Rosarie, these uh, the Kenyan rappers. Mm. We've seen like um, you know, there's another Kenyan lady I saw the other day. She and, and, and she oh, not took a Rosarie for Shang thing. Man. Yeah, that's mm. my yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So I think it's gonna keep the industry in, and especially hip hop. Um, yeah. uh, the kind of music that has been dominating mm. in the industry is like, you know, like Otile Brown, yeah. right, Harvard, right. You know, if you look the kind of music, uh, the likes of Ben Sol, they mm. do Viri and all that, yes. Lovers, I don't Major know, Gengeton. Major Gengeton mm. and all that. Mm. Hip-hop, calligraphy is the only person I would say over time and were cardinally, yes. they've been giving us, you know, music. You mm-hmm. remember back in the days, yes. the Tanzanian uh, hip-hop industry was bigger than us. Yes. Mm. Oh. You know, mm. uh, you know what was the name of that group? Uh, uh, the three guys. They were called uh, Kornitoni. Yeah, I see. You know those guys. They want to make him Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Those guys did the dance. Who were they? I mean, yeah. I, you probably know. I yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. One only team K. Yeah. One only team K. Yeah. So those guys with the Tanzanian, like in terms of hip hop, mm-hmm. they were the best. Mm. Right. But now I think um, I'm excited. But it's, it's a, it's a yeah, hip hop is alive. Because yeah. here's the thing, right? Because I think it's going to do a lot, mm. not just for the hip hop scene in Kenya and Tanzania. Mm. What this is going to do right now, because I don't know if you're aware of this, this is the first time since the inception of hip hop mm-hmm. uh, that nothing was charted in the top, uh, I think, top billboard billboard charts. There was no hip hop song. Yeah. Wow. Right. So for the first time, I think now this is going to reverse the tides a little mm-hmm. bit. Bring, bring hip hop back. back. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think it's going to be great for the culture because, you know, uh, as you all know, you know, Nas and Jay Z. Oh. You know what I mean? Biggie and Pop. Oh. And then more yeah. recently, uh, Drake and Meek Mill. Meek Mill. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, even Pusha T at some point got into mm-hmm. the, uh, yeah. the fray. You know what I mean? So I think it's important. You know, that's so, the very culture yeah. of hip hop. You got to beef. You got to, and sometimes, you know, you got to come off the dome and yeah. you got to disrespect some, somebody. Yeah, somebody. So you know, you got to talk. There you go. You got to talk about, <laughs> you know, talk about yeah. somebody's mama. You know, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> what <we're getting. laughs> What was she saying? What did you say? Mama, yeah, mama, 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 molo, mama, molo, knowing man, yo, the level of disrespect she dished out on this, but actually this joint with this beef, I just feel as it's like Kenya we've not replied enough. Yeah, because yeah. actually, me nearly when you naive. This is how I was saying it. Yeah, right. Calligraph does it. Calligraph has the Cali cartel guys that he has brought up. Man, where are you guys? You need to back this nigga. That's true. The same way we have Rosa. Actually, Kunangomadi Nani Alisha Tz. 
nika distract but it's so funny nika ni chakacha mse ame rap on top ni nini yo 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 that's a thing well uh, who's, who has responded calligraph big baba uh, so calligraph big baba, big baba we saw uh, yeah well, there's, there's, there's a lady there's a lady there's a show you were very very fine this is this nigga in like of state or something the uk the the game for nini proud yeah Uh, what's the name? The guy, the Somali guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bueno. Uh, bueno, bueno, actually, Bueno, yeah, Bueno, yeah. bueno yeah. has done it. Okay, yeah, okay. I think okay. Bueno should go, you said Bueno should go head to head with Rosario. Do, actually, Bueno should reply to Rosario on this. Hello. Mm. Mama Umolo, Bueno yeah. should, should reply on that. Mm. Bueno has, mm. that, that guy's bad, that, man. That would be sick. Uh, that would yeah. be sick. Yeah. Bueno man, they chang amka, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know, hey, that's, the, that's, that's the culture, man. I mean, we got to keep the culture alive. Uh, now, back to uh, Matiba. Yes, sir. And yes, the hizzo, sir. and the hizzo. So now, <laughs> yes. nightlife. You know, nightlife, uh, as I said in the beginning of the segment, you know, night, nightlife is, uh, is, uh, is a necessary evil. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. So, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 It's you know Yo. it's it's where you know dudes spend the majority of the week mm-hmm. just basically pushing pencil pushing yeah. paper doing yeah. whatever they do yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and at the that those two nights mm-hmm. it's just yes. like to just spread it all you know what i mean yeah. loose you know loosen up lose the tie yeah. you know what i mean yeah. just yeah. just let loose. Get loose of course with that comes a lot of other like ancillary things that happen yeah. in nightlife the pros and the cons yeah. so for you what what have you seen because i know you've seen a lot a right lot, a lot what 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 have you seen you know like the pro give us the pros and the cons of like being a nightlife you know guy you know manager influencer go ahead uh one is that um you have to understand yourself I, I I tend to uh, like nowadays we are living in a generation people where uh, they don't understand themselves, mm-hmm. and uh, as much as we all, we are all about having fun, yeah. mm. as, uh, as everything in life needs a balance. Yes, you understand. Mm. And uh, we've had even like evolution of you know day parties. The other mm-hmm. day, so there is the downtown or there is being called a looter. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. And there is now the other day Kilimani felt like. Uh, they could not go the you know the uptown mm-hmm. big boys cannot go the way to quiva yes. loft for the aluta mm-hmm. so the other day there's a club called fuse mm. yeah that came up came up came up with a with a concept of a day party mm. so guys check in at the bar at around 4 a.m mm. oh. uh, you know everybody was been like in different clubs they mm. all been that place at six seven a.m in the morning mm. You cannot even get a simple space to stand, leave mm-hmm. alone to sit at the mm-hmm. table. Six, seven a.m. Oh, yes, Holy yes. shit! <coughs> so that means about the the, the culture of partying is becoming Kenya. Mm. Mm. Like I was saying, everything has a balance. Yes. You know, everything in life it doesn't have balance, then mm. becomes toxic. Mm-hmm. It's bad. Mm-hmm. So the you most see what he did there becomes <laughs> toxic. <laughs> 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 oh, bad. 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 So one rule number one I keep on telling people mm. hydrate yes always hydrate mm. yeah and uh, the party will be there tomorrow mm. okay and the days the years to come mm-hmm. get some time to rest mm-hmm. right all right yes uh there are different reasons why people party mm. I keep on saying yeah there are people go to maybe look for you know women mm. yeah the people who are stressed yes and they want to get it out mm. the people maybe has been annoyed by the wife and they cannot stay in the same house mm. or he just needs to go out and breathe yes there's somebody else who wants to uh, celebrate you know achievements mm-hmm. you know um, mm-hmm. the different reasons vary especially when you go in a, at times when you go in a bar you find people fighting at times yeah. mm-hmm. you may find like uh, somebody who is very happy and somebody who is very stressed yes they just had a very coincidence that could be even a, a simple be solved like sorry yes yeah, that's it but one is having his own personal issues yeah. mm. so 
let's drink responsibly. Yeah. I've been in the industry for over 10 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And one thing that I always create time to rest, mm-hmm. eat well. Yes. Um, yeah, eat well, rest, mm-hmm. sleep, and discipline. Yes. Okay. And as uh, the first thing you said was hydrate. Mm-hmm. Yes. Stay hydrated. Hydrate. Well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you find like nowadays in terms of, um, and again, also know your brand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Know what works for you. Mm-hmm. you just understand what your body likes. Yes. Uh, if you're good with vodka, you just don't be anybody that just takes it. Anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't yeah. make toxic. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> 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 so like, I have a specific brand. Mm. Uh, these when you're starting to do the nightlife business or rather partying and drinking, mm. there's a phase that you try. Yes. You know, like vodka doesn't work for me. Mm. Gin doesn't work for me. Yeah. Um, whiskey works for me cognac maybe maybe not yeah. it's good to have a balance because find mm. people that are drunk at times at the clubs is because they don't know mm-hmm. how to stick to their you know yeah. to their brand mm. yes. it's a very important thing because it makes people get drunk silly mm. there's some behaviors in the bar no, but again drink hydrate hydrate I keep on saying hydrate I think my other name would be hydrate 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 yeah it's important yeah good good uh, all good points you know and uh now, when it comes to, of course, once you party, there's the trip home. Uh, <laughs> now, you say drink responsibly, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, drinking and driving. Drinking and driving. Um, and I'm saying as a result of, uh, as a personal testimony. If you look at my hand right now here, oh, yeah. I got an accident a few years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was driving then, it was a crazy party. Mm-hmm. Then at the roundabout of Uru, Uru Highway. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's like six, seven years ago, eight years ago. I used to live at Parkland. Mm-hmm. I slept. Yeah. Mm. I slept while driving. Bro, high is a kite. Bro, high is a kite. Yeah. yeah. And I rolled and all that. So take a Uber. Don't drink and drive. Mm. Yeah. Don't drink and drive. And I, I'm sure. Yes, sorry, sorry. How much did that affect you, like your career or you as a person? I was at home for one year because I had to go for therapy. I had Yo. to, you know, um, get my body fitness, mm. my nerves. This hand was not functional. I had to go for therapy to, if I need to get the nerves, yes. get function again, and all that. Yo. You really don't need that mm. just because Yo. one thousand, two thousand. I don't think in Nairobi, if you live in Nairobi, there is no any place you'll ever pay an Uber more than two thousand shillings. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Never. And then to never. you really want to live tomorrow. Mm. So Life you really don't want to live today. Like so by the times you go out, also think about your family. Yeah. Think about um, think about the people that rely on, depend yeah. on you. Even if you don't have kids <coughs> and all that, mm. uh, you really don't want to shatter your you know your dreams yeah. and your life at a very young age. Mm. Mm. And if as you see nowadays, there's a lot of those young deaths because as a result of that. The other day I lost very dear friend of mine mm. from Dubai, DJ Babu, I think. Yeah, Babu. Uh, DJ Babu. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 So for me, it was an alert call. So I, I, even when I came here, yes. when I came here, to, I just live just, you know, right across. I uh, left my car and, you know, took a yeah, Uber yeah. because, again, it's good. But again, there are people who cannot go out without. <laughs> yeah. it, is it, is it because the, the car is like a status symbol? They want to show out because they have a nice exactly. whip? Exactly. So exactly. That is one of the reasons. Mm. So one, um, <laughs> there's somebody saying that why men buy nice cars. Mm. They buy nice cars to impress. Yes. Mm. You understand? Mm. So the only time and the only opportunity, maybe most of these people get the opportunity to, you know, to show out whatever they have. Mm. Is time um, out. Is it's at the club, right? The club. VIP mm. section. The VIP section, yeah. exactly. You know, the mm. nowadays there's that culture of Dorime, you know, the yeah, Dorime, yeah. Yeah. Dorime yeah. culture. Dorime. But they're big up to clubs. Um, <laughs> the, the clubs have upped their service in terms of battle service yeah. and how they present, you know, mm. things yeah, on the table. Um, that, that thing never used to be there in Kenya. Yeah, yeah. There's only one club that used to do that, the big club. Yes, yeah, big club. Mm. Yeah, big club. Nowadays, when you go to a club or a battle of, you know, Hennessy, they right. you know they're going to come dancing and, you know, highlighting mm. with the lights and all that. Okay, right. So, if you're the kind of people that like showbiz and yeah. you go out to the car, just know your limits. Mm. And as much as I advocate don't drink and drive, mm. but just know your yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Did you did you ever think is uh, now also you speaking from experience, yes, right? Yes, you, yes. You've been there, 
and uh, you know you got the scars to prove, yes, yes, to yes, prove yes. it. Yeah. Uh, is there such a culture where you would implement some sort of like a designated driver type of thing? Like, let's say you know a guy, for mm -hmm. instance, Tomani. Mm -hmm. you, know, he, you know, he's a regular. Yes. He's always there. Yes. And you know, he has a. This is an example, guys. I'm not saying he gets drunk. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, is is there is there a thing because now you know him as a regular? You know, he has a tendency to. To, yeah, right. to go, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. overboard. Mm. Is there a way that you can say, hey, nah, bro, mm. give me the keys? Mm. Um, I, I, I did that, and I remember uh, when I was running Blend, yes. uh, next gen Mombasa Road, mm -hmm. mm. uh, we had a lot of like uh, patrons that we know their habits. Yes. You know, there's a guy that enters the club, you know, that guy loves women. Mm. Um, so if there's a fight, you just know that he touched maybe somebody's ass or my random ass, right? Mm -hmm. the club. Um, so you understand your problem. So I had like a like some taxi guys mm -hmm. that could literally, you know, um, call them, oh, yeah. take this guy home. Mm -hmm. he, and but again, it also brought a lot of security issues later oh, yeah. because you know when somebody like a driver takes you home you're sleeping there and then maybe some people stole money in their car and then mm. you say i woke up i didn't find my hundred thousand my fifty thousand right. you know okay yeah it, i i pray we one day reach where dubai is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, dubai i think is one country that you can leave anything anywhere without caring whether it's going to be st stolen or not yeah. mm. But so yeah, the culture is is a bit wanting. So. It's a different, yeah, it's a different culture, yeah. But also, you know, uh, Dubai, Sharia, Sharia law, you know what I mean? There's yeah, all that stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you you steal something, well, you might go home with minus one of them, you know, one yeah. of them joints right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's 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 true. It's real. Uh, but you know, short short of that, I guess. Uh, uh, what you're saying is basically to be responsible. Be responsible. Exactly. Be responsible, drink. Because if you know you're going to go in and enjoy yourself, yeah. leave the car home, take an Uber. It's not worth it, man. 2,000 shillings, yeah. it's nothing. You if you're going to go and drop, you know, 10, 15, 20, 20,000, 50,000 at the club, yeah. you can set aside two, you know, 2K to get your yeah. ass home. And again, and again, nowadays, um, I'm speaking from experience in mm -hmm. terms of um, some of the habits I've seen in, be in bars, which are hazards. Mm -hmm. um, there's a culture of, you know, the in Kenya they call it mchele, you know, oh, people yeah. spiking up his drinks. Uh -huh. So I, I really know the, the do's and don'ts that whatever you're asking me, when you're going out, make sure you have a friend or two, three, when you're going out with them, people that you really trust, yes. okay? <coughs> and every time, like for me, when you look at me in my car, I have, I have a lot of trust issues, yes. right? Every time I go to the washroom, unless I'm with somebody that I really trust, I'm always having my glasses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Reason because, um, you see how the club is uh, like uh, crowded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nowadays, in terms of spiking, uh, it, th th those girls are the experts. So Some will argue. By the time she hugs you, they know how to, you know, yeah. just mm -hmm. yeah. to and, and just get a girl that you know already before you go to the club. Yeah. yeah. The, the habit, I, I highly discourage these random bitches so you yeah. can mm. to get them <laughs> yeah, well, they, they, you. they know who they are uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah from from a club because if you are going out as a guy and you know you you, you want to you know smash later just have a girl already that you know mm. go out have drinks with her go home thank yeah. you for saying that because the people who, the customers who actually complain that to the account of Chele Kwenu mm. but if actually you came with a girl you know you got it. That will not have happened. That's so right. Who, That's right. who is really to blame? Because yeah. actually, people so. need to understand that also these girls are at work. Yeah. They're at yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. That is the uh, night so economy. It, it just you. works that way. It's yeah. a livelihood. That's yeah. how they, you know, that's how they make their, their exactly. money. Mm -hmm. But you know, guys, you know, drink responsibly and also mm -hmm. keep your drinks. To yourselves, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know. <laughs> also, uh, uh, oh yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Dreaming like this. Yeah. So what's up? Yeah. yeah. What's happening? Yeah. 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 How you doing? Yeah. 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 Talking, talking about uh, the alcohol, yeah. Mm. And uh, this actually, Tomani and uh, Matiba. Mm. Uh, let's talk about DJs and alcohol. Oh, you know. it's a crisis. Mm. What's up? What's up? Are they depressed? Are we all depressed? Uh, or no, what's going on? Uh, no. I feel is. Um, I, 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 from my experience, let me explain it. Yeah. We are talking about impressing the other gender, which is the women. Mm -hmm. um, 
she the DJs. The biggest problem with some of the DJs, mm. and uh, mostly you find is the upcoming DJs. Mm. The established DJs, most of them you find they have a bit of balance yes. because there's a face they made those mistakes mm. that uh, the current you know upcoming DJs. Are. Yeah. The issue is fame. Yeah. Uh, All right. You've seen a lot of memes in the social media. Yes. If you wanna cut onions, data DJ, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know how that exactly is because there's nothing negative about you. But again, anybody who's always on limelight mm -hmm. uh, becomes a target. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the is, is the problem is not to you with the women, mm -hmm. the women <coughs> with you. Yes. And most guys at times, uh, especially when you're under influence, mm -hmm. you don't have the conscious mind to you know to say no or yeah. rather to. Uh, to to refute whatever is being and you know women are very seductive, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Of course, very seductive, especially in the clubs. So, so Generous. A, a chick will come, you know, she will DM you. She'll say she'll come to your show. Mm -hmm. Then you you wanna take things to another level. Mm -hmm. After that, you've been paid. I I've seen DJs that uh, uh, come for shows and uh, before even settle their their money, mm -hmm. the money is even less. Than whatever they have consumed. Wow. Yeah. That's bad. Man. So the problem is not, and, and most of the time you find they're not the ones that are consuming the alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, and this is my advice to the DJs. Watch any Kufaisha Mbogi. You know, this is your career. This, yes. this is equivalent to a lawyer. This is equivalent to, you know, a doctor. Yes. This is equivalent to an engineer. That's your career. Mm. And uh, the, the reason why the engineers and lawyers uh, come to look for women. In the clubs, yes. Now imagine you are a DJ, and that is your nature of work. That's that's yeah. your like literally. You work at the factory. Ex <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is so true, man. <laughs> so I, I think it's a it's a crisis yeah. in terms of uh, trying to prove the ability to spend, mm. and uh, which is very unnecessary yeah. because if you look at things from a realistic point of view. Mm. It's, it should be vice versa, them coming to support you, not yes. you going spending there because you're, yeah. you're, you're spending yeah, and all that. Mm. So I think that is the issue. Mm. Uh, and again, also balance everything. I don't understand how a DJ has a job. Like, for example, and that's the reason I was saying get time to rest, mm. hydrate, and yes. sleep. Yes. Uh, you know how your calendars are as yeah. DJs. From Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Actually, nowadays the weekend starts on Wednesday. Yeah, it's on Wednesday. In Kenya, we have only two working days: yes. Monday, <laughs> Monday, and Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I, I run, um, I run a, a very. Uh, it's like an industry night. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. I call it Prime Wednesday. Every Wednesday at uh, at club. Yes. club. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the busiest nights in the club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm that Wednesday. Mm. So you find even a DJ is working on Wednesday, Thursdays, we have gigs, Fridays, we have gigs, Saturday, mm. we have gigs. And at times, this gig is crazy because you find like you have to drive to Eldoret for a show yes. or you have to drive to Nakuru mm. for a show. And again, you're drinking until maybe 7 a.m. in the morning. Oof. You need to get some rest. You need to also get some time to travel to that location. Right. So I think it's a matter of discipline and trying to create a balance between your career mm -hmm. and also your personal time yes and you have to make sure the two meet someone other balance mm -hmm. right yes. i guess yeah work life balance yeah. right yeah because yeah. without without that then you you risk uh wrecking both yeah i mean yeah. you know if you can't be there for, you know you may have a girlfriend a wife or yeah. a child or a child now you're not even there yeah, you yeah, can't even yeah. do anything yeah. and then at work yeah. Yeah. now yeah. you're not even a hundred percent so yeah. so what are you gonna do now you're gonna suffer uh, on, on uh, both fronts mm -hmm. so uh, for now for you right you you uh, you're managing uh, how many clubs are you managing right now uh, in my portfolio right now five. Five, five clubs. Five, but those are the ones I'm managing. I'm not talking about the ones that I'm influencing. Mm. Okay, mm. right. So, so we talk about we talk about fifteen to fifteen to. Busy guy. Teach, <laughs> teach me a week. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, teach teach me yeah. Me yeah. This this nigga is bad. Sensei. This <laughs> 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 got a mentor. Man. Yeah, this is a mentor. Okay. Man. You know it's Beautiful crazy thing, because. Man. All right. So so now uh, so when we hanging out. Today. Tomorrow. Tonight. 
Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and actually, uh, before to go to Mungi about her, uh, we talked about uh, the Kenyan music. Mm. Yes. Uh, part of Prime Wednesdays, you do yes. artists and all that. Yeah, actually, most of the Kenyan, like, uh, and this can, uh, you can, any any gangeton artists, mm. they know they pass through my hands mm -hmm. uh, when they are launching their careers because, like I said, uh, Karis is a bigger Mr. T. We normally work on Mr. T. Yeah, you're so here. We, uh, we normally do uh, the industry night together. Mm -hmm. So these these are what Prime Wednesday is all about. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Prime Wednesday is about what is trending in town. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is there an, a, a new? I, the other day I brought her Kabebe Kazoz. Mm. Oh, nice. You know, oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Kabe, Kabe, I gave Kabebe Kazoz the first show after she hit. Uh, when she was trending. Yes. Nice. Then after that, now other clubs, the likes of Loft, uh, I even saw like Tomani. Uh, Tomani. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I always send it. I always send it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so like the governor, the mm. former Nairobi governor, uh, song called yes. uh, "Get Them a Flight to Mombasa." Mm. And I feel I feel so good when I see such yeah. happening to the mm. industry because basically it's all about you know empowering. People in the industry. Mm, for sure, for sure. So, yeah. now, let me ask do you think where we are with the Kenyan music, mm. is there an opportunity for artists to get more shows? Yeah. Yes. Um, now, I'll give you an example. Mm. I really don't want to mention. I've also been a manager to, you know, Christoph. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Big up my brother. <laughs> and other artists now. Yeah. I, I, I tend to feel what makes. Um, uh, an industry vibrant wow. in terms of uh, <coughs> music mm. is when artists don't uh, they, they release it after it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, the best uh, artists in the world, like yeah. uh, the example Bana, uh, look at Asaki, mm. look at uh, Wizkid, look at um, anybody in there. You yes. know, the other day, uh, uh, there's a club that I work closely with, it's called Skate City, it's at yeah. uh, Parkland. Yeah. Yeah. So they did a show with uh, Fabulous. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bro, that was some deadbeat shit. Like... What happened? What happened? I know. What happened? That was the most, one of the most boring shows ever in the history of Kenya. And they said, somebody on Twitter was, you know, dissing Kenya and saying Kenya is the home of deadbeat artists you wow. understand for example mm -hmm. if you look at the show we had the other day that kenyans received a proper character development mm -hmm. is the boys, boys to, to men oh. yeah. you understand the other day yeah. boys to men can't, you, you know you, do, you do, can't make me pay 30,000 for a ticket so right. then you give me some like you know mm. um I can get like, like 10 of my phones on the screens on the VIP, yeah. you know, like in terms of the, the size yes, of the screen, the size of the team, yes. it's 19 inch, you can't give me 19 inch, and I'm paying 30,000, that, 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 that 30,000 can buy me those inches. Yes. Oh, so this is what we feel like a value of, you know, um, value of money when mm. you especially are doing events and mm. all that. And this uh, what, what was I talking about? Um, about the artist, so you are at Fabulous at Skate Oh, Fabulous, yes, yes. the deadbeat event. Mm. So like, um, <laughs> MC. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, it's because <laughs> this guy is, is singing back in the, the song that he used to yeah, hit back in the day, back back in the day. Right? Yeah. but they don't slap anymore. The guy mm. doesn't have any new song yeah, right, right now. Right, right. The kids at Skate City do not even relate to this nigga. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's a Gen Z space. It's a Gen Z. Uh, exactly. And it's the go. 90s, man. So now, that now goes back to the question you've asked me. Yes. Mm. Shida our Kenya, the biggest problem with Kenyan artists, mm. they are not giving us music. Mm -hmm. They are not giving us music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you look at Major. Mm -hmm. Me and Major, big up my G and Major. Yeah. We work closely with Major. Like even like last week, I was with Major yeah. when he was shooting a new video with mm -hmm. the Yani. Yes. Uh, that's gonna be released. I don't know what time. Mm -hmm. But uh, these guys are always working on a yes. new project. Yani, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why all the anthem mm -hmm. songs in, in a club. Yes. Yani, Yani, Major. Mm -hmm. Yani, Major. Sauti, Sauti Sol. Sol mm -hmm. Bien. Uh, uh, ben Sol, yeah. Viri, uh, and then now, 
because of lack of content tunaenda tuende tukawa ke uko songs for 20 years and mm. back then so now does it mean like the dj like he's trying to go back to the tbt no it's because there's no good music mm-hmm. he has to go back to the the only kenyan music that yeah. was yeah. there yeah, which was back, back in the day yeah, yeah. Archive, that is going back, so which is pretty yeah. sad yeah. yeah which is pretty sad mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Because, because okay actually a new quelly but also uh, as dj's we've noticed also when it comes to consumption of new artists there is a problem yeah. there's, there's a problem i think the biggest problem is marketing because there are songs that well, is it, is I, it, is I, it really I beg to differ mm-hmm. yeah. i beg to differ mm-hmm. uh, the biggest problem is no marketing yeah. i always say one rule a big song doesn't need marketing a banger is a banger it's a banger yeah, yeah. a banger is a banger mm. Oh, I, I, will, I will I will tend to agree with uh, with Matiba because uh, again without the product mm-hmm. yeah what are you going to market what are you going to market yeah. are you going to post, uh, push something down people's throat yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah. exactly okay yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I get you so uh so we have work to pay Mziki these bookings mm-hmm. yeah? yeah from your side you guys yeah yeah could yeah. have booking from your side yeah yeah I think that is not I think it's yeah that's just the artists are, artists are lacking you just you know, right and, and understand yeah. this yeah And that's, that's but, but, but also here, here's uh let, let me throw a monkey wrench in the water, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> is it is it also because now it's um it's a question of the egg or the chicken which came which you know came mm. first mm. see what I'm saying is it because the <laughs> artists they they're not putting out music because they don't have the support of mm-hmm. the industry therefore they can't basically stay home and create music they have to hustle you know they have to do this and that now they're not putting out music mm-hmm. And the guys who were creating music back in the day, now they're this illusion. They're not really in their business anymore. Mm. They're like, you know what? No, no, we gave the, the industry 10, 15, 20 years. Mm-hmm. We're, we're broke. We're going to go farm and, and shit. And, 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 yeah. so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's simple. Um, well, there are no kids. Mm-hmm. An artist will not uh, be able to produce music because uh, he doesn't have money. No studio sessions require That's right. yeah. 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 money. Yeah. But let's not dwell on that alone. Mm-hmm. The other day, Calligraph was having a, a, an interview with uh, Obina. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was saying the biggest problem, the curse of this industry of Kenya. Mm. He's saying that the reason why the industry is not big as it's you, it, it's like it was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. It's so sad that the the times Joakali, Nonini, Nameless, Isa, those times, mm-hmm. Uh, the industry was bigger than it, than it is right now. Yes. But observe, what is the something that these guys did to, that was different? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. The thing is that these people combined, uh, I'm a good artist, mm-hmm. he's, a, he's, he's an upcoming artist, mm-hmm. and they create a product. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, the current generation of artists we have in Kenya, mm-hmm. it's all about themselves. Yes. Calligraph doesn't, Calligraph said is open to mm-hmm. actually mm-hmm. Do music with anybody? Look yeah. at the most successful artists. Mm. Calligraph has done like rim, uh, collabs with a couple of artists. Mm. Look at um, Major. Mm. Major does collabs with like, everybody. Yeah, anyone. <laughs> But then now we also have now another. They did a collab with him. Yeah, yeah. Who say you collab with Major? But then who say? But people who say you perform big game of coffee. Who say? 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 Who <laughs> so now what we need we need to do is that um, the, the likes of Tomani mm. I feel like if Otile Brown came and Akashika Tomani yeah. Kono, mm. then it's it's not about the song mm-hmm. it's about the industry mm. yeah. and if the industry is firm then now you guys are able to penetrate into yes. even international markets mm. but now the sad thing is like you'll see a Kenyan artist even paying money to do a collab with a Nigerian artist mm. just for the sake of you know I've seen just for clout that, uh, There's a time when uh, Lane was here mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. and Cecile. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, 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 you should see how these uh, Kenyan artists, most of them simple, and these international artists mm-hmm. are here. It's, it's, it's crazy. You yeah. just wanna, you just wanna like push yourself yeah. and mm. close to this mm-hmm. person and pay, even pay for a uh, collab with these artists. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just because it's international, mm-hmm. why don't you also express the same t- type of you know effort yeah. towards the local industry? Mm-hmm. Because until we resolve our local issues here, yeah. we are not going to penetrate outside that. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, true. you got you got to build 
you got to build a home base, yeah. sure. right? Before yeah. you can now, because you know, I see, uh, you know, before uh, Diamond Platinums, before he did like collabs with Neo, yeah. with the Rick Rosses and stuff like that, he yeah. was in his own backyard, yes, you know, with his yes. own with his boys. Yes. Yes. So I think the same thing need, need to happen here. But here's one thing though, because my first time here uh, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And one thing I realize, I talk about this all the time, there's, yeah. a, there's an opportunity for, for Kenyan artists to actually grow the industry that's mm -hmm. been missed. Now I think it's, it's changing. Mm -hmm. Matatu culture. For instance, the first time I came here, I'm like, I'm looking at all the Matatus, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing, you know, all these beautiful paintings. Yeah. Like Matatus. I'm seeing Rick Ross, mm -hmm. Diddy, Drake, Tiger. Even now, Tiger. Even now, you see Cardi B. Mm -hmm. You know, all these, you know, Snoop. I'm like, yo, this is an opportunity that Kenyan artists mm -hmm. are fucking up on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <coughs> you niggas should be on the shit. Yeah. Because, you, know uh, you know, like, uh, what do we call it? Branding is everything. Yeah. Visibility. Yeah, yeah, exactly. brand, yeah. You're right. You're right, yeah. So why is not, why is not, why is it not being done? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually, but I think, uh, do we, I don't know. I feel neglected now. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, you mentioned something. Mm. Yeah, somebody cracked a joke the other day. Mm. He blew that Chris would visit all the barber shops in Africa. He, he would be a trillion in dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why? Actually, yeah. uh, I mean, you use pictures. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> that Chris is the biggest ambassador of barber shops in Africa. <laughs> 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 His famous wavy card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God! Yeah. Like, wait, yes. Africa want to be? Yeah, is, so is that yeah, that, that's that's a good one because uh, <laughs> actually I feel in the <laughs> industries uh, <laughs> the DJs have actually pushed their brand more on Matatus than artists. Yeah. To mm. be very honest, you know. Yeah. No, it's true because yeah. if you go, to, if you go to the Matatu, uh, um, like Rongai to town mm. or whatever, you will hear like DJs. Like Mag 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 Magud Magud was this famous <laughs> DJ. Madam Akufu, the change king. And so only Babi, I do the Magu. The DJs, by the way, that culture was good for the Matatu because I remember the likes of Akinali D and even your mother likes D. Exactly. Even your mother likes DJ Kim You know, DJ Tofar is a man. It's a good one, and I think place to make up here people need to understand that mm -hmm. we are in Kenya is Kenya is an international competition mm -hmm. yeah people need to understand this you know yeah. penetration of uh, the internet you know we we have a lot today I was sharing with Izo and I was telling him actually guys Izo is our you know, he's our, that guy. He's when you watch these videos, he cuts the video. He's the guy, he's the guy. What's up, so my G? He's the guy. What's up, my G? So, my G. So, <laughs> so I, I was speaking to Izo, mm. and I was telling him, as he, when, when you go out of Kenya, mm. especially in the East African region, you understand that our industry is advantageous mm. to any other. Mm. Bro, I won't lie to you, man. Time in Italy is a Uganda for the first time. Madijon kwa nani uliza lower thirds ime kwa je kwa mix. Unonaga yeah, you unona got yeah. Facebook, follow me on Facebook, nini, in a play live. You know, you, you're DJing live and you mm. have lower thirds on a live mix. Yeah. And this guy's like, dude, how did you do that? Like, what what are you using? And I'm like, dude, wh why why don't you know this? Why well, you should know, you know that. How, how it's, it's, <laughs> Thank you. So you find that we have so yeah. much. Mm. It's giving the bumper. It's giving the bumper vibes. So... <laughs> 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 Actually, but the other artists, mm. when I found us, bro, let me tell you, but the, sometimes what we take V2 for granted, mm -hmm. we take things for granted mm. when we're here, yeah. but when you go out there, oh, you bro. actually realize, yo, bro, now nah, in any shock because. I think the other day you guys saw, just like a million did a live mm. thing. Mm. You know, I think Shiba did it then. Mm. 
Bro, these guys are pulling stages like Tomorrowland. Stadiums. Mm. Dude, they are filling yeah. stadiums and uh, yeah. you say you know, and when you go the internet penetration in Uganda, bro, unless you're in Kampala. Yeah, it's big, it's yeah? next to ah, next to nothing. It's yeah, nothing. What a, yeah. Here's here's the thing, right? Because t- in order for uh, for Kenyans to capitalize mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. what uh, what's what's available here, yeah. Okay. First of all, you got to stop being you know consumers mm-hmm. of anything that's coming from you know. I guess oh, 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 oh. there's there's a term that I learned the other day. Uh, what is it called? Komaju. <laughs> oh, what's your vibes? Don't come at you. Right. <laughs> right. So anything that's foreign that's coming in, oh, yeah, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope, right? Yeah. But then what, what is supporting the local joints, right? Mm. Yeah. For instance, you know, uh, Niger- yeah. the Nigerians, they don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? They're going to support their own. Mm. You know, they're going to they're gonna support all the, the burner boys, all these, even all the upcoming artists mm. and stuff like that, right? But when it comes to now rallying up behind the local creators, mm. local musicians, that has to be that has to be uh, uh, the grassroots movement yes. that allow people now to be okay. There's an industry mm-hmm. now I can create, I can earn, mm-hmm. and I can go back and create and grow from there. Mm-hmm. And uh, without that, it's mm-hmm. always going to be well. All right. So there's there's I'm a piano, mm-hmm. there's bongo, mm-hmm. there's hip hop. You know, there's this, there's that. But then where's the homegrown? Yeah, yeah exactly. Joints. Exactly. Actually, I can't home grown. Home grown. Home grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a thing where in Kenya used to be called home grown. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to it? I, I think, I don't know what happened. Yeah. But I think it should just get back. Was it on TV or? <laughs> yeah, it was on TV. Actually, yeah. yeah. to, to challenge yeah. 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 homeboy. Yeah. 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 Actually, to challenge homeboys, man, they give us back home grown. I think it's it, 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 it idea. Right. With giving people the <laughs> exposure that they need. You know? no, absolutely, because yo, bro, there's mad talent here, mm. mad talent, mm. and if it's not being exploited, what happens? You know, the the talent is just gonna it's waste crazy. away. People it's are just crazy. gonna give up because you know, without the industry to support mm. it, people are not gonna continue creating, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, back to uh, back to Matiba. Mm-hmm. So Matiba, now we we're talking about you. We're talking about club culture, influencing, yes, uh, and all the other things that that you've done. And, and again, you dropped another bomb. You were a photographer at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Being a theologist, you know, <laughs> <laughs> planted shit churches, bro. Planted yeah, churches. man. Yeah. That's 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 very impressive, man. So, uh, so now, uh, uh, of course, you know, uh, club culture. I guess we don't want to get too deep into the, uh, I guess, the dark side, you know, of yeah. uh, of, of clubbing. But we uh, we got to touch touch on it a little bit, you know. For instance, there there's always an element of uh, of risk. Yeah. And clubs, you know, you are you as a manager and also as a club owner, as an influencer, you've been in, in different places. Mm-hmm. Are there any are there any hot spots in, in the city that you would say, okay, there's more activity when it comes to what do you call it, like Chile yeah. activity? When it comes to you know what I mean, fights and stuff like that, is there as a, you know not to pinpoint any specific club? Yeah. But are yeah. there any hot spots? It, it, it's it's a culture that I'll say it in a general way, mm-hmm. but. Um, there are some joints that are affiliated with um, Chile Babes. With, leave alone Chile Babes. Mm-hmm. Um, Chile Babes. These are Chile Babes. Uh, uh, that's uh, these are the they identify their locations mm-hmm. where they want to target. Mm-hmm. Um, they will never go to a, a, a joint whereby the expenditure, or rather, the kind of ballers in that place. Mm-hmm. There are no ballers. They you never find them in a local. Yes, oh, sure, sure. Let me just say yeah. There are these hyped joints in the city, mm. which is good. Yeah. So anything good comes is also like you know the bad side of the things. bad side of mm. things yeah. also. So for them, they know at this place I can get spenders. Mm. Um, you know, they they they're very picky in terms of um, in terms of um, what they want to achieve at yeah. the end of the day. Mm-hmm. They don't wanna go rob somebody. They rob a person like a two thousand phone, a kabambe. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> so the question they ask themselves: likely, who's who's likely to spend maybe a hundred thousand on a phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where is he likely to be found? Right. And we all know about the bougie joints in yeah. town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So especially when you find yourself around those areas, mm-hmm. like I said. 
Rule number one, have your circle very tight. Yes. Yeah. Uh, watch your drink. And uh, because those are some of the things that really affect nightlife. Mm. We, we, over years, we've had like people die because yeah. of you know, such kind of issues. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I must admit it's a reckless mistake. Yeah. As much as you normally go out to you know, spend your money, have a good time. Mm. There's somebody also who is trying to use the same avenue yes. to also make money. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. So you, when you are those high-end joints, mm-hmm. and especially, we know we know the trendy clubs yeah. in town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We know the trendy right. clubs. Well, fair the enough. Sports. Yeah. yeah. Fair, fair <laughs> enough. But I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I guess these these ladies also. I guess they they do their homework. They do their homework. They, they know, know where they can yeah. get spenders. Mm-hmm. They know. Where Gotcha. Yeah. Actually, in, in where there's a lot of michele. What about michele? No, it's, you know, uh, you are silly. No, where, uh, where they literally grow the rice. Yeah, they grow ah, the rice okay, to right, eat. Right, right. So you say, <laughs> so say, avoid where, like... <laughs> Toxic. There is a feel on harvesting toxic. rice. Uh, not that kind of rice, bro. <laughs> you know, MC Toxic in the house, just mm. making us laugh right here. Well, guys, I think uh, we're coming to a close. You know, uh, we're coming to the top of the hour again with uh, Matiba, who's uh, who's who spread the knowledge. You know, guys out there, you want to have a good time, just be smart. You know what I mean? Don't be too flashy. If you want to be flashy, just surround yourself with your crew. Assemble your crew. Yes. All right. Keep your circle nice and tight. Watch your back. Watch your six. All right. Your drink is basically is going directly into your body. So you don't know if you don't know what you're putting in. You know, don't freaking drink it. If you suspect that it looks funny. Throw it out. Get a new glass. You know what I mean. Get a new glass. Yo, replenish it. Make sure. Uh, you, you keep your eye on that joint at all time. Like like uh, Matiba said, you want to go to the bathroom, you don't have anybody at the table, take, take your take shit it, with you. It, take, it, with yeah. it. take it with you, man. Because yeah. it's not worth it. And again, you might see the badass, the baddest chick, all right, approaching you. And you know you ain't, you ain't that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't all that. Exactly, you ain't all that. Red flags, nigga. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. If she's a 10, your yeah. ass is a 4 or a 5. <laughs> <laughs> Just be honest. <laughs> There's no way she would fucking approach you on the street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So already that's a red flag. The bitch would... What you want? What you want? Yeah. You know? Yeah. This is, yeah, yeah, back up. You know, I'll be right back. Stay right here. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So, yeah, be smart, guys. And again, you know, uh, takeaways, uh, drink responsibly, mm-hmm. hydrate, you know, for the DJs, you know what I mean? In fact, what am I saying? This? Let's, uh, let let Matiba uh, give you the parting words of words of wisdom <laughs> for, uh, first for the, for the club goers, yes. and then words of wisdom for the DJs. Go mm-hmm. ahead. So yeah, it was all my people. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's, uh, they say too much hard work without playing makes Tom a dull boy. Dull boy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. we must dull. play, but uh, as we play, we need to be careful. Mm-hmm. We need to watch our circles. We need to take care of our health, and we also need to have limits. So I think um, identify your spots, identify your crew. Um, Understand yourself, what you can do, what you can do. Yeah. And I like I keep on saying, hydrate, hydrate. Mm-hmm. And don't drink and drive. Mm-hmm. For the DJs, I think we've had this discussion. Uh, it's for the interests of the, of the you know, industry. Mm-hmm. And uh, big up to a podcast like this that mm-hmm. uh, we look out at the, you know, welfare of the, you know, the industry. Yeah. Um, the Times is no rebuke. Uh, is and rebuke is also very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we like to see is just the industry do better. Yes. Awesome. So in terms of uh, management, those are some of the things you should consider. Discipline, something that you should consider. And just know that that industry is like you're nothing different from a doctor, an engineer, mm-hmm. you know, um, whatever. Mm-hmm. Any any serious career taken as in life. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything in life that makes you money, I think you should. You know, prioritize it and you know, treat it with you know, respect. Respect. Yes. So, big up your guys, and yep. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, my brother. Well said. Mm. Yeah. 
Once again, uh, the OG on the vinyl podcast representing the 254. I am the OG and we have DJ Joe Flex here. And for the DJs, Miss Kiaman's a discipline, you know? Stop calling on ours. I saw me book January. Okay. So it's a video, it's a video to me for your cars, you know? Uh, this is DJ Joe Flex, aka okay. hey, Mr. Greatness. Yeah, and I hope so, guys, you're learning a lot from this podcast because personally, I'm telling you, Matiba, you came at the right time. Mm-hmm. Wow. Guys, uh, I got a new job. Mm. Uh, I'm a promoter. Mm. There is a. See, so I always tell you about my caretaker. So, mm. I'm a He has a church in it. Jehovah Shop Shop Saturday. Jehovah? 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 Jehovah Shop Shop Saturday is in trouble ministry. <laughs> change the whole industry the yeah. whole church industry yeah. so yeah. guys if you if you're here you're welcome to the church we're looking for hosts yeah. to play. <laughs> <laughs> Jehovah Shab Shab Satan is Trouble Ministries. I go with the name LC Toxic. <laughs> man, 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 man. Yeah, and I go by the name Tomani. Yo, listen. Um, um, DJ. Saizi, Mazel Club Vineyards in Atokia is crazy. And directors spend crazy money to make their places pop. Even on a weekly basis, we're talking about millions. Yes, millions. Millions. So, man, they want someone who actually delivers. So if you literally have to introduce yourself to me and Matiba, bravo. Just Just make money. (laughs) Bring him. To money. That's right. Mm. Think about that. And actually, Matiba, Mm. your residences. Mm. Yeah, places who go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay. So, um, uh, on Wednesdays, I'm at Hat Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, on Thursdays, I'm at Gemini. Mm -hmm. On Friday... I'm at Art Club or Blue Martini because it's one of our, you know, oh, yes. clubs. So, of course, you have to provide more. Yeah. Every Saturday until the end of the year, I'm with a piano tour Kenya somewhere. Yo. Nice. Every Saturday. Then uh, on Sundays, uh, Blue Martini. Mm. Hello. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. All right, check your yes. boy out. Oh, uh, social media. Where, where yeah, can yeah, I? Yeah. Uh, I'm, a bit old, I'm a bit old school, so I like to. I have only two social medias. For me, is uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Boom. Mm-hmm. So Facebook is Team Matiba. Instagram is Matiba the Dad. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So keep it locked, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yo. Man. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. 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 That was nice. a good one. You guys are doing a good job, man. Santa. This, yeah, this guy mean. right here. <laughs> <laughs>